All right, guys, so we're going to do a little uh, late morning recap here. I'm throwing in the towel a little earlier today. Um, it's Friday, number one. Uh, number two, I broke over 100K for the second time. And uh, number three, I don't want to overstay my welcome on HTGM, and I don't want to get tempted into doing something a little reckless. Now, I'm only $600 above 100K, so I really don't want to drop back below 100K for a second time. So uh, here we are today up $4,731.60 on two stocks, HTGM and ZAIS, both of these straight off the watch list. All right, I was watching both of these pre-market for gap and go trades. Now, HTGM uh, this morning when I first opened my gap scanner, I thought my gap scanner was broken because I was like, it's showing me yesterday's scan. You know, what, HTGM can't be gapping up 60% again today, but it was earnings last night and uh, the squeeze started after hours big move from four dollars up to 650 consolidation and the thing is it's crazy I traded this as soon as the market opened I got in this at 650 and it immediately dropped to 620 and on 2500 shares I was down 750 bucks and then it popped all the way back up to a high of 680 and I sold it and I was like, okay, that was that was a close call. That was not how I wanted to start my morning. So I'm just getting out of that. It dropped down here. And what's really interesting on this one, um, let me just close this out for a second. Sometimes these indicators get stuck. Let's see, delete, 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 and delete, delete. Okay. Um, so what's interesting is that all of a sudden here, first candle to make a new high over 636, we pop up. And look at this. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. From 636 all the way up to a high of 724, which at that point I was like, well, I'll wait for the first one minute pullback. Well, it's not stopping. It goes all the way up. I mean, just absolutely ridiculous. 875, 875, and then we get a little bit of a pullback. So we really just totally squeezed out of the gates on this little red to green move. And I just didn't expect it because of how whippy it was in these first candles. So I, um, I was like, all right, well, we'll just watch this. I got in here for the first one minute candle to make a new high at 58 and it pops up to a high of 92. I sold it, made 900 bucks. I was like, all right, not bad. And then it's consolidating here. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm watching it for the break over 92. I got in right here for the break of 76. It pops up to 83 and then drops down to 840. Gave back 300 bucks. I was like, all right, well, just give us a second. I get back in here for the first one minute candle to make a new high. That's what I thought. It pops up to a high of 89 and then drops down to 55. I get stopped out. I lost another 300 bucks. And then I get in right here thinking it's going to come up to hit 75 and it drops back down to 46. And this time I said, you know what? I'm just going to hold this thing. This is ridiculous. I'm holding it. I'm setting my stop at 8:30. You know, at at that point, if I stopped out at 8:30, I would have been red on the name, and I would have just been so annoyed. But and I was only up 300 bucks on the name at this point, so I held it there. I was waiting for the break. Oh, what I was waiting for on the five-minute chart was the first candle to make a new high, and we finally got it. We finally got it. It took you know one, two, three tries, but we finally got it. And from there, my average of 8:70 we squeezed all the way up to $11. Not bad at all. I mean, you know, that's the type of trade where you could make $20,000 in one trade. I mean, potentially, but for me, because I had already gotten faked out on this one six times yesterday, uh, and because I'd been faked out on it, you know, three times today, I only took 2,000 shares. And by the time it was breaking $9, I sold all but 250, and so I held that remaining 250, selling 125 at 10, and the remaining 125 right around 10 as well. So hindsight is 2020. You know, it was a good five-minute chart pattern. It really was. It just faked me out on that first uh, couple, on those first couple tries. And in any case, I'm finishing the day up only uh, 1,400 bucks on the name. So. A little annoyed I didn't do better on it but remember whether you're red on the name or you're green on the name uh, this is an opportunity to learn this is a stock that went up 200% today 
it was extremely volatile. There were a lot of potential opportunities, but I would say most traders who traded this name uh, will have lost money. And it, that's just, I mean, that's the statistics of trading. But these are, as uh, John in our room put it, expert level stocks. They are so hard to trade. I mean, they, they really are not easy and they fake you out. So don't be surprised if, you know, you hear people saying they lost a ton of money on this one. Even though it went up 200%, it's not a guaranteed winner. And so that's kind of why I'm like backing away from it, uh, even though it's only 11. I just don't want to overstay my welcome and get myself into trouble. It wouldn't take much on this stock to lose, you know, a thousand bucks and uh, kind of ruin my weekend. So let's see. Um, I'll show you guys the leaderboard here on our simulator and we'll look at um, you know the biggest couple of the biggest winners couple of the biggest losers so biggest winner HTGM twenty thousand dollars we'll just look at his his entries and exits so he got in at 393 uh, yesterday and then he got in at 880 today sold on the move up to 1175 or 1075 not bad let's look at another one HGM ZAIS, $13,000 or $12,000, HTGM. So you're seeing the bigger winners are all from HTGM. Now let's scroll to the bottom of the leaderboard, not to shame anybody, um, but let's just see where some of these guys are losing money. HTGM, $28,000 loss, right? That's a pretty big loss. So he was short from 408 yesterday. Covered today at ten bucks. I mean, it it happens. It happens fast. I mean, I know that's an overnight trade, but uh, HGM short five thousand shares down twenty four thousand dollars. There are a lot of traders with real money doing this type of thing. HGM short down twenty four thousand. So traders start shorting these early. They get on the front. They they're shorting it on the front side. And they get squeezed out. All of the bigger, the big losses are in HTGM. So it's not a surprise. This is a very hard stock to trade. It's expert level. Most traders will lose money, um, you know, tra trying to trade these stocks. I mean, simply because only 10% of traders make money. Number one. But secondly, probably even a smaller percentage make money on these stocks because they're like, they just they call you in, they tempt you. That fear of missing out kicks in. You start jumping in, you get aggressive, and next thing you know, you're doing something stupid. You're in with way too much size, and it just you know drops down in a heartbeat. So, you know, it's it's definitely um, you know a stock that is an eye opener, and we will see this type of thing happen again. You know, at some point. So let this be a learning experience. So the next time we have a stock do this type of thing, you can trade it just a little bit better, right? These are opportunities. We want to try to capitalize on them. And any any day that you're taking more money out of the market than you gave back, you're doing something nine out of ten people can't do. So even if you only made hundred bucks today, you should be grateful. You know, don't push, don't push it, don't overstay your welcome. You know, take the money and run. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. ZAIS was sympathy. Uh, it was gapping up this morning, as you can see. I got in it uh, as soon as HTGM made that huge spike. I jumped in this one at 350 with 10,000 shares because I thought, look, that one's running. I think this is going to run on sympathy. What's disappointing is that I was up $7,000 on it when it hit 419 for my 350 average. So I actually, you know, I was in really good shape on this one, but it came all the way back down in the next candle to 368. So I sold it at 385, only made 35 cents on 10,000 shares. So that's a little, again, a little disappointing, but only as disappointing, only as disappointed as you can be when you make $4,700 in one day. And super grateful to be back over 100 grand, back into the 100K club. So I'll start Monday with $100,600 and just kind of keep grinding my way up higher. Uh, you know, this has been, it's been a little bit of a rough patch. Uh, it was two weeks ago today that the red streak started. Two weeks ago today and um you know i'm just um it took me some time to kind of get back I'm, I'm actually not back to break even i'm still down um you know probably i don't know 500 bucks or 700 bucks versus my all-time highs of the year so 
I should be able to get that back um, at some point next week and make my way towards 110, 120, you know, and so on. So finishing the week up just under $10,000, and it puts me up on the month $24,444. So with one week left, might be able to get up to $30,000. We'll see what, you know, trading looks like next week, but... Um, you know, 20000 a month is, is not bad. So I can grind on those numbers until we get some really hot trading and I can, you know, have a $60,000 month like I did last month. All right. So uh, today's day 56, $4,700 and uh, breaking back over 100K. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you all first thing Monday morning. Let's be honest. If you made it this far, you must have really enjoyed that video. So what's stopping you? Subscribe right here and get email alerts anytime I upload new content. Until then, happy surfing!